Okay, so for this tutorial, I will introduce uh, how to implement the first person uh, camera with collision. Uh, I will also introduce how to be able to use pseudo instancing. Okay, since the device that we are using is not using like real uh, 3D accelerated uh, instance, so I have a way to uh, using Blender to be able to create uh, instance uh, just to speed up. Okay, uh, the drawing. So. By default, all the states, the machine states, will be sorted, so the drawing can uh, happen faster. Uh, I will also int introduce how to use uh, physics using Blender, tagging your objects uh, to behave in a physics world. And this tutorial also uh, show you how to do uh, 3D picking, okay, basic 3D picking, uh, which gives pretty good performance uh, on this device. And finally, I will introduce you how to create your own uh, collision map for your scene. So, uh, launch Blender. Uh, delete, delete that lamp here. I don't need it. And I'm going. I'm going to try to reproduce like the same type of scene that I did <coughs> the first time. Okay, for the first release. So I'm going to create a plane, and using S and drag and drop, I will, I will scale it. And I'm going to subdivide it because I'm going to sculpt like a sort of uh, terrain on it. Okay, control C to make sure that I'm having triangles here. I'm going to go in uh, sculpt mode and and to show the sculpt properties and what I'm going to do I'm going to inflate airbrush put the strength at the top and I'm going to use symmetry on the X and Y axis so that should give that should speed up a little bit instead of <coughs> sculpting like every side so okay start drawing like at least some boundaries here okay it's once again it's just to, to show you know like a, a simple this is like an extension to tutorial uh, 04 where I was uh, showing you how to create you know like a basic world inside Blender uh, this is like a, a little bit more complex world once again it's not meant to be like really pretty it's just meant to be functional and you know just for demonstration purpose so here I'm sculpting sculpting my terrain and just to give you know like some boundaries here uh, that should be okay you know we got some a little bit more here okay just to show you that you know the camera follow you know the curves of uh, the train when I'm going to uh, render and run this scene okay so that that should be okay and I'm going to create like a little hill in the middle here okay then uh, I'm going to add a material and I'm going to center new and I'm going to push uh, set smooth make sure everything is uh, smooth yeah I'm going to temporarily add okay like a lamp here and I'm just going to use this lamp let's go in shaded mode Check how it looked like, and I'm going to use that lamp in uh, order to, you know, kind of bake. Oops, <coughs> bake my vertex color for the terrain. So give a little more shading here and there. Maybe resize that. Okay, something like that. And I'm going to go back in my terrain, and I'm going to click on uh, editing, and then vertex color. So basically, using this lamp. Blender will bake for me uh, these vertex color, so now I don't need that lamp anymore. And if I go in here, I would be able to see. You see, I delete my lamp, but the vertex colors have been baked. Okay, for uh, the plane, which is actually another good trick that you can use. You know, to speed up things instead of you know really using GL lamps, the lamps in Blender. Uh, you can just you know put a lamp and then bake you know the vertex color so everything will be uh, shaded. 
Actually, that terrain is a little bit heavy, like in, in, in Polygon. So I'm going to run, uh, I'm going to go in Mesh, and then Script, and run the Poly Reducer uh, once or twice. Yeah, I can still optimize that. Script, Poly Reducer. Here we go again. Yeah, I hope that, that, that should give good results. Okay. <laughs> And I'm going to go now from my camera, I push 0, and I'm going to put select the camera and put Shift and F. So I'm going to enter like in a first uh, person uh, camera mode, sort of. And using WASD, I'm going to place my camera somewhere here. And I'm going to grab it here, and you can see that here... I got my, at the end here, I got my Z far that is cutting my turret, so I, I don't really want that. So I'm going to, here at the end, I'm going to put like, uh, for the, the end clipping plane, I'm going to put like 500. Make sure that this value will be passed to a side so For the start, I will change it for 1.0, and the lens 65. Okay. So I want my camera, you know, to go straight since we're in like first person. So I'm going to tweak a little the rotation here and put it at 90 degree. Let's check, you know, where exactly is my camera here. Just put it down a little so the drop at the beginning will not be uh, that drastic. Okay, like that. So as soon as the the physics, as soon as we're going to play, like enter the physics, you know, we're going to drop a little and start, you know, like uh, going down that uh, hill here. So I'm going to export this and you know, just to see how it looks like, select everything, rename my scene for tutorial 06, enter, file open, go search my exporter, nice, right click, execute and modify the output path and put it in data, select, okay, everything is selected, look good, export, nice. Go back in Xcode and link my tutorial 6 with my Xcode project. Okay, so I have it. So run. Flip. Come on. Now I'm passing right through it, which is <coughs> normal because I didn't add physics. Okay, like as you can see, it's like six, almost seven in the morning. I'm a little bit tired still, kind of sleepy. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> so then I select my uh, my terrain. Okay, and I'm going to say that this one is a static mesh. So uh, for the static triangle mesh for the simulation. So I'm simply going to click on actor. Just by turning on actor is going to you know like put this as a static triangle mesh. I'm going to select everything again oh, and just update actually. Export, nice, and I'm going to run again. Okay, now we can see that my camera is sticking on the ground and I'm not touching anything and you can see that like with the inertia etc like the camera is like going down I'm going to stop here. You can see that the camera is going down and following the terrain. So it's basically the same kind of camera that I implement like in tutorial uh, 4, okay? But this time it uses uh, physics, okay? Using bullet, of course. Okay, so this is all good. And I'm going to start adding like different type of physics object. I'm just going to remove that one. 